The Tennessee Valley is home to so many great things from the mountain views to the great culture. But one thing you can also find here is the most talented people you'll ever meet. And I'm sitting here with one of them, Miss Sharona Henderson. You have been a part of just so many aspects of the music industry from on stage performing yeah. to just behind the scenes and now you're using your craft that you've learned over the years and you're helping the new generation of artists in this area just yeah. tell me more about her first Huntsville okay yeah so her first is like my brainchild my baby but also it's been formed in community you know for me I'm like what would happen if we created a culture of creatives, not just singers, but we have interior designers, set designers, videographers, photographers, you know, some of everybody. And we got together and said, we're going to help to create the cultural diverse brand of Huntsville. Mm -hmm. We have over 30 plus different creatives on the team, whether they're songwriters, like I said, or anything else. At the forefront, though, you see a few artists that we've, you know, we put out an album last year called the Teal Album. Um, which was a compilation album of the sounds of Huntsville. So all of that has become what her first is um, to create that sound that the world will hear, that you'll hear first in uh, Huntsville. As far as just like more music opportunity, yeah. how has it been just for you, like since you came back and then seeing how it's grown now to like, okay, there are so many opportunities for musicians to put their work out there. Yeah, it's so, it's twofold, right? Um, we have a lot of artists coming in, like the, the music economy is growing, right? And then it's, it's still the other side of like, what is the sound? What is the original music? Mm -hmm. That's why we focus so much on original music and building the original sound. There's still difficulties there. Our artists might sing R&B or hip hop or whatever. We're still limited on venues. And I think Huntsville is learning to bridge the, the gaps. How do you juggle like all of these different avenues as far as your career goes and also your parent you're expecting? Yeah, so there's the second one on the way. <laughs> Trying to answer your question, I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, with community, with village, the same way you're doing it now. Mm -hmm. When you have the right people around you and you're honest with where you are right. um, and where you need help and what you can't do, um, it becomes easier. You know, a game we used to play maybe a field day where it's two people and they link arms yeah. and they both leaning back on each other trying to stand up at the same time. Like, you can stand up when you shouldn't be able to stand up if you got the right person you're leaning on. Because mm. I've been there where literally it's like there's nothing left. I'm crying. I'm, I'm, I have nothing left to give. I feel completely talented but under-resourced. Like, things can turn around. Everything can turn around in an instant. And that's either for your good or your bad. So, Sharona, what song are you performing for us today? Oh, man, let's hope I get through it without crying for the people. No, this song is called Summertime. I actually wrote it about my son and the, you know, being scared of, like, I hope I don't feel you too much here. Um, but, I, but I love you, and I hope at the end of the day you'll know uh, how I feel. And it's also a country song. Which apparently, you know, is very popular in the community Beyonce's right now. not the first one. <laughs> we came out in September. No, no. There's a lot of it's a, it's a lot of us, but for sure, um, I actually write more country than any other genre. You just doesn't always hear me sing it, but this one sounds country. <laughs> And I'm really excited about doing this. And Aaron Stapler is going to be joining me on guitar, doing the acoustic version of that song. I love Summertime on the Heard First Teal album. All right. There's something about your smile that makes the clouds go away. Something about your touch that brings the sunshine after rain. There's something about your laugh that melts the coldest hearts of sing. You're the best unexpected gift God's given me. And I hope that I don't fail too much. And over time, you see, you've always been the best. Part of me, like jumping in an old lake on a hot, steamy day, or riding in a truck bed as the wind blows my way, just like grandma's kisses when I feel. It makes the sun seem to dim 
There's something about your voice that makes the birds sing their hymns. And even when you get on my nerves, you're sweet like honeycombs. You're the most perfect creation I've ever known. And I hope that I don't fail too much. And over time, you'll see you've always been the best part of me like a cold glass of sweet tea on a hot steamy day riding in a tire swing as the wind blows my way just like grandma's biscuits fresh on a saturday you remind me of the best times just like been the best part of me.